Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Coming up on today's primetime forecast, we'll tell you about a wind advisory that's now in effect for East Alabama and West Georgia. We'll also talk about the possibility of severe storms across the area tonight to include tornadoes. Rain returns on Saturday. Then we'll have another round of rain on Tuesday. And our mild temperatures will continue. Good morning. Time now for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's Weather from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to get that no-obligation, cost-free insurance quote. You'll become eligible to win some great prizes from Dr. Don's Weather, including a car charm from K&L Car Charms. Also, you may win other prizes such as gift cards from Corner 56 over in Wadley. And on our next drawing, we're going to be giving away a $25 gift card from Meadows Farm Equipment on Highway 431 just south of Weedowie. So get your name in the hat today by getting that no-cost uh, insurance quote from Jamie Dukas, your local alpha agent. All right, let's talk about some weather. Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for today. You don't see that very often. There is a moderate risk covering most of the, well, all of the state of Mississippi now. A good chunk of eastern Louisiana up into north, southwestern Tennessee and west Alabama, uh, all the way over to about Enterprise, Alabama. This, enco- uh, this encompasses the Mobile, Baldwin County area back up to near Montgomery, uh, near Birmingham, and then all the way back up to northwest Alabama. That's where we're going to anticipate the greatest risk of tornadoes. And then we have an enhanced risk across east Alabama that covers all of our coverage area and that uh, runs pretty much right along the Alabama-Georgia state line. And then we have a slight risk category across West Georgia. Uh, So folks, I don't want you to get caught up in the colors. I also don't want you to go throughout the evening with a false sense of security because you're going to hear weather folk today say, the line of storms will be weakening as it moves into East Alabama and West Georgia. While that is technically true, It's going to be weakening from a very strong state, so these storms could still pack quite the punch when they come through East Alabama and West Georgia after 9, 10, or 11 p.m. this evening. So straight line winds, I think, will be the the biggest threat for our area, and we could see straight line winds of 60, 70, or even 80 miles per hour, and that can cause a tremendous amount of damage. I need you to go ahead and prepare for tonight's event just as though we had that had that moderate risk sitting right on top of us across the region. So be prepared, be weather aware, and we're going to ride through this thing together this evening. Then as we head into Thursday, that risk for severe weather will slide on off to the east, I think over uh, portions of east uh, Georgia down into the coastal regions of Georgia and Florida and then also up there across the Atlantic seaboard all the way up to the New England states. And by the time we get to Friday, no risk of severe weather across East Alabama or West Georgia. So here's the timing from the National Weather Service office in Birmingham. You see that moderate risk there, basically from Birmingham to Clanton to Selma back to the Mississippi state line. And then from that area east all the way to the Georgia state line, we pretty much have an enhanced risk of severe weather. And then that slight risk category down there in extreme southeast East Alabama and across our West Georgia counties. I'm thinking probably 9, 10, 11 p.m. before we start to see the heavier storms move into East Alabama. That will continue through about daybreak on Thursday morning. Uh, So four to five hours of showers and thunderstorms across East Alabama and West Georgia seems plausible. Uh, Again, the highest risk for tornadoes, I think, will be confined to West Alabama, uh, basically west of I-65. And then damaging straight line winds will be the primary threat east of I-65. 
to cover all of East Alabama and West Georgia. Though a small, quick spin-up tornado cannot be ruled out across our neck of the woods as well. So we're going to have to watch for the possibility of all modes of severe weather as we head into the overnight tonight. The big danger here is this is coming through while everybody's supposed to be in the bed asleep. So if that's your plan for tonight, because I know you have to work on Thursday, make sure you have multiple ways of receiving severe weather information, ways that will wake you up. Now, the best idea is a NOAA weather radio. Get those at your local department stores. If you can't get your hands on one of those radios today, because typically what happens, folks wait until we have a severe weather event and they all rush out and buy those radios and then the stores run out of them. So if you can't get your hands on a radio today, go ahead and place an order on Amazon or any of the uh, department stores online and go ahead and have one ordered so you'll be ready for the next event that comes along because it will happen. Uh, and then make sure that you have a couple of different apps on your phone. Your phones come already programmed uh, with the emergency alerts turned on, which will warn you if there's a tornado warning. It's not going to go off for a severe thunderstorm warning. And uh, that's a little bit concerning because tonight's event, you need to consider severe thunderstorm warnings just as you would a tornado warning because of the straight line wind damage. Uh, so be sure you download a good app that's going to give you weather alerts along with the uh, uh, national weather alerts that are already on your phone. And if you have turned off your emergency alerts, alerts on your phone, be sure you turn that back on today. Be prepared, folks. That's 90% of surviving severe weather. Simply having situational awareness, know what's going on around you, and be prepared. Have an action plan. Know where to go in the event severe weather threatens your area do all of that, you increase your chances of surviving tremendously. So please take care of that today. All right. So one other thing I want to talk about, though, is you need to know where you are on a map. This is very important. On the left, you see the state of Alabama. On the right, you see the Dr. Don coverage area. That area inside the red outline is what I consider East Alabama. So when I'm talking about a line of thunderstorms coming through East Alabama, it will affect all of those counties that I have outlined in red. You need to know where you are on that map because that's how we talk about weather. If you live in Rockford, you need to know that you're in Coosa County. If you live in Lafayette, you need to know that you're in Chambers County. If you live in Beauregard, you need to know you're in Southern Lee County, so forth and so on. Take a few minutes today to look at the map, identify where you live on that map, and understand that tonight's weather event will be coming at us from the west or northwest. And as that line of storms moves across the state of Alabama, it will be moving from west to east or from left to right as you're looking at your phone this morning watching this coverage. So be sure you take care of that. And uh, here's, the, here's the map for the state of Georgia. Same thing. Uh, we cover the counties of Carroll, Heard, Troop, and Harris in West Georgia. And we'll certainly follow a tornado into Coweta, Meriwether, Muskogee, and Chattahoochee if we know we have damage taking place. But that's what I consider West Georgia, those counties inside the red. It is going to be a breezy, warm day across East Alabama and West Georgia. A wind advisory in effect until 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Folks, we could see wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour away from thunderstorms. So make sure you have all of those outside items secure this morning. Trampolines, patio furniture, uh, your umbrella that you've got out there on the patio that you went and bought last weekend when it was gorgeous. All of those items need to be secured even before the storms get here because they're going to leave your yard if you don't. <laughs> We've got, we're, we're caught between a, a pretty tight pressure gradient between low pressure and high pressure. And we have a very strong low level jet stream above. All of that's going to combine to give us an extremely windy day across the region. And there could be some scattered power outages. That's why you should keep your phone charged all day long in the event we lose power you'll have a way of receiving weather information. But a warm, breezy, sunny day, 82 in Roanoke. Or there could be a passing cloud from time to time, I think especially this morning. 81 in Ashland, 81 in Lineville. We Dowie goes to 81. Franklin tops out at 82 this afternoon. 
and Auburn hits 83 later on today. Don't forget to check out our fast forecast on Instagram. We give you your weather forecast in 60 seconds or less. Be sure you follow us over there on Instagram. And by the way, we put that out there first every single morning. So you can get the weather forecast every day. You can be the first one to see it if you follow us over on Instagram. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Again, a warm, breezy, sunny day. Winds gusting out of the south-southwest. Uh, gusting 50, maybe even higher uh, from time to time. So uh, take note of that and don't be surprised if you get blown across the street this afternoon. Be careful out there. 82 will be your high, uh, down to 60 for your overnight low. Here comes the showers and thunderstorms after about 9 p.m. this evening. I think the best window of opportunity for severe weather is going to be from about 1 a.m. through about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. We will have a squall line move through East Alabama. There would could potentially be Boeing segments along that squall line, which could produce damaging straight line winds. I think that will be our biggest threat as this moves into East Alabama. We're talking wind gusts anywhere from 60 to 70 miles per hour. Uh, which will bring down trees and will bring down power lines and could cause some structural damage. If you live in a mobile home, you need to have plans to go somewhere else, even if a thunderstorm warning is issued for your area tonight. Because of this particular setup, you do not need to be in a mobile home. 100% chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. That may linger into the pre-dawn hours of Thursday morning, though I think by 7, 8 o'clock uh, Thursday morning, the rain will be pretty much done. 73 will be your high on Thursday, back to sunshine Thursday afternoon. Sunny and cooler on Friday, 68 will be your high. A very weak system moves through here Saturday morning, giving us only about a 20% chance of a scattered shower. Back to sunshine by Saturday afternoon, 70. Two. Sunshine on Sunday, 74, and sunny on Monday, 77. Our next chance of rain will be in here on Tuesday of next week. Now, here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. Look out there around Dallas, Texas. That is it. That's the line of storms that we'll be dealing with uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. Yeah, we do have a uh, severe thunderstorm watch box out there that's covering a good uh, piece of Oklahoma down into Texas, uh, back into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And this, this line of showers and thunderstorms will only grow as the day goes along uh, and it continues to move off to the east. We are noticing a few rain showers breaking out well in advance of this line of showers across Alabama. Uh, so a sprinkle this morning, uh, especially around Birmingham and even into East Alabama and down there across southern Alabama certainly is possible. I'm not sure how much of this is actually making it to the ground. And it's very, very light. Uh, so clouds, maybe a sprinkle or two out there this morning. I think we do go back to primarily sunny skies uh, by noontime today. And then we'll see those winds kick up out of the south as we go through the remainder of the afternoon. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. D-S-T-R-E-N 1040 is the handle. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at DrDonWX.com, where you can click on that Donate button and support us. You can also download the Dr. Don Weather app. We have all of our weather information over there. Uh, Facebook's been a little screwy here lately with uh, different things so make sure that uh, not only like us on Facebook but make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also make sure you download the Dr. Don weather app so that you'll get that push notification when we go live for severe weather coverage which there is a high possibility we will do that tonight uh, during this upcoming severe weather event. Thank you, Mr. Mark Mitchell of Bama Diesel Repair. Mark was in our room last night. We're doing our live severe weather update. Also, thank you to Roger Bell, Roger Bell Auto Brokers 
in Roanoke. All these fine folks are our partners here on Dr. Dodge Weather. We have a couple of openings now, so if you own a business and would like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Dodge Weather to help continue to bring severe weather coverage for East East Alabama and West Georgia, please send me a message on Messenger. We can have you started before we start our long-form coverage of severe weather tonight right here on Dr. Don's Weather. Yeah, and so that's what we're planning right now. Hopefully, there'll be no reason to go live for severe weather coverage tonight, but if I were a betting man, I would uh, pretty much guarantee that we're going to be here with you tonight. Uh, So we will see you back in here later this afternoon. Uh, We will probably do an update for you sometime after about 4 p.m. Central this afternoon here on Dr. Don's Weather, and then we'll be in standby mode, and we'll go live with wall-to-wall coverage as soon as it becomes necessary. So have yourself a fantastic Wednesday. Hang on to your hat. It's going to be windy out there today, and I'll see you back in here late this afternoon for an update of Dr. Don's Weather.